What's this? What's this? You know what this is. You recognize that. What is that? That is the Copus Designs Elvia collaboration with uh, Ed Calderon. You got 154 cm. You got injection molded handle. Really nice knife with the cool sheath you can drop in your pocket and all that. So why, why are you showing this again, Bob? Why? Why, Bob? You always talk about this knife. This is why. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. Um, okay, so uh, Josh Mason, he goes by Bright for War. Josh Mason is a knife maker whose knife making company is called Bright for War. He doesn't go by, he goes by Josh. Uh, but he's got uh, an amazing hand and eye for making modern fixed blade knives in the Japanese tradition. I recently had him on uh, the Knife Junkie podcast a couple weeks back, uh, like literally two weeks back, so definitely go check that out. He's a great guy, interesting guy, has a very cool story, is very humble, but makes exquisite knives. And, um, well, I couldn't help but notice his cord wrap. You know I love cord wrap, and uh, he does a beautiful job in this sort of traditional style. So I said, uh, can you please wrap my Elvia? And... He said, hell yeah. And so I sent it to him. And he also strapped that edge up nicely for me. But uh, he said, what kind of ray skin? And I was going back and forth between, you know, maroon, because I love maroon, uh, or, or purple, because I had seen another knife he made for his wife with this purple ray skin. And I decided, why not? Why not purple? Purple and black is beautiful. It's royal. It's regal. It's holy. And um, so I got that. I don't want to be a one... A uh, one Johnny one note with everything uh, in maroon anyway. So what has this done for the Copus Designs Elvia besides beautify it uh, quite a bit? Uh, besides making it absolutely stunning to look at, this cord wrapping, uh, which has some sort of epoxy on it, um, has made this knife perfect in hand. Perfect because it is now wide enough this handle is pretty thin. It's meant to be thin, so you could drop it in the pocket and leave it, you know, drop it in the pocket and it doesn't print too much because it's nice and thin. Uh, but the trade-off is it's nice and thin and it's harder to hold on to and somewhat slick. So this really adds wonderful grip. Now look, when you look at this kind of Japanese wrap, uh, uh, write in the comments what this kind of Japanese wrap is called. I forget, uh, but you can see it, it leaves alternating peaks uh, from where the lace has folded over uh, itself. And those peaks are like finger grooves. They just, they seat your, they, your fingers seat nicely in, uh, between those peaks. And uh, so the width, the added width, these peaks, the beauty, and just the overall uh, enhanced grip and uh, enhanced everything of this. Uh, I'm just really, I'm really, really psyched. You gotta go check out Josh Mason, Bright for War, Bright for War on Instagram, Bright for War Knives. And uh, actually listen to the podcast. He's great, or watch the podcast. He's great, he's very interesting. And there's a cool story behind how he got the name Bright for War. So do check it out. I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm sorry, don't know why I just went into my Scarlet O'Hara, but uh, maybe that's because it's late. Um, really, really cool package. Thanks again, Josh. Uh, check him out, Bright for War. Peace.